Okay, welcome to a screencast for the Librefile website. It's a site for book lovers and currently specializes in uh, audiobooks. And before I start, I'd just like to say a really quick thank you to Librevox.org uh, who provide us with um, with content. Uh, uh, over 3,000 books in the public domain, so completely free uh, to you and to me. Uh, I'd also like to say a thank you to Audible.com uh, who provide us with uh, um, who additionally provide us with content numbering uh, in the in the tens of thousands of books. Okay, so the first thing you see um, when you come to the site, the landing page, is a, is a browse window. It currently allows you to browse through uh, sequentially through the, the 3,000 plus books in the in the LibriVox archive, you know, chronologically ordered. Um, so you can see nine books uh, in front of you here, and, uh, and if you wish to scroll through, you just hit the uh, uh, hit the arrows here. So just you know, you push through the library and you. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it on the screencast, but there's just a slight delay where we dynamically go and fetch the latest three books. So we don't want to hold everything if, if we don't need to. Okay, so we can scroll back to the beginning here, and let's just take a quick look at the, at the first book. If you hover over an image, you should see uh, a description, um, the first you know, seven or eight lines um, describing the book. And you should also see the title here, of course, and uh, this is up, you know, the content provider LibriVox. Um, and there's four buttons here. Now the first button um, provides, uh, it gives you a pop-up. So let's click that and wait a second, and here you can see, um, a, a, you know, a pop-up comes up, and uh, and you can scroll with the mouse wheel up and down, or with these arrows. And this is a list of the of the audio of the audio files, each chapter chapter laid out. You know, here we've got the title, and then we've got a bunch of. Uh, Bunch of icons that really allude to, you know, description of, of the, uh, of the book. So it's in English. It's literature. The the genre we haven't actually zoned in on here. So it uses the generic tab, but it's a, it's a biography. Uh, it's non-adult, and uh, and here's a zip file if you want to download the the whole book in uh, in in one go. And these buttons are pretty much available for for all of the all the books in the LibriVox archive. Uh, so the second one uh, is um uh, is a link that will open up the uh, the ebook usually at the Gutenberg project, but it could be anywhere. And the next one uh, will download uh, kind of the iTunes podcast, so it'll, you know it'll open up iTunes or you'll subscribe to the book completely free once again. And uh, that's, that's my preferred way, a really great way to to just start listening to the to the book straight away, um, nicely organised. And so this last one here um, over the image is actually the zip file. So click on that, like uh, do that for you now. And uh, there we go. It'll offer you to. Uh, I'm in Firefox right now, but it'll offer you to save that straight to your to your desktop. If that's what you want to do. Okay. So the next pane uh, is the search. And so let's kick off a search. Sherlock Holmes. Look, when I entered earlier, he's currently popular right now. So the search will do. will kick off a couple of threads. It's all asynchronous, so you never. You know, if you want to go back to the browse window, yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can do that. So sticking with the search, then uh, the first books to come back are from the LibriVox archive. Uh, we always try and put the free books at the front of the list. Um, even if the the Audible books come back first, then you know it's going to uh, it's going to provide the LibriVox books first. Okay, so I guess it's kind of a big search. Uh, it's brought back a lot of books from Audible. Uh, I guess they have a lot more content. Um, and here you can see a bunch of Audible content. Now it's it's mostly pay, and so we don't have all the buttons. But, but the first one here um, allows you to play a quick sample, opens up another window, and just plays like a, a quick sample that they offer. Uh, the title of the book and the author, and like that's just a click through to um, to Audible site. And um, we've taken their one of their images, and we've actually overlaid um, their description as well. So you know all the information is instantly accessible on the screen. Okay, genre tab. I guess it pretty much speaks for itself. Like, uh, let's just choose one of these. Um, so, hopefully, going on a holiday soon. So, let's click that. That's going to actually uh, go off to um, to LibriVox. Get a bunch of uh, you know using the RSS feeds and, and bring back all all the books that uh, that are categorised in that in that genre. So you notice that not all of the uh, not all of the books have images. Um, or we try and this is a mashup really. So we go to Wikipedia or Commons or Wikimedia Commons, and we try and find a matching, uh, you know, you know, a matching image, and then we kind of resize it and, and insert it. So because this is all happening asynchronously, you, you may see these images update with the best possible match. And 
you know we do that for every single book that we get back so that's the genre tab popular tab um, again we'll go to uh, LibriVox.org and get uh, it actually gets their their nine their currently nine most popular books uh, I think that's information that's held at archive.org um, and additionally we then go to audible.com and I think currently I, I display the, the kind of 50 most most popular books available um, at audible okay uh, help screen only a few questions there right now hopefully we've created a really intuitive site uh, that speaks for itself um, some information from donate if you want to because all these services are free uh, and the contact details okay thank you for listening